welcome students so multi core architecture and programming is a part 1 slide from unit 1 so single core na enna multi core na enna so single core architecture abdingrad enna na it works on a single core processor whereas multi core refers to architecture in which a single physical processor that incorporates the core logic of more than one processor. So, a processor is the main component of the computer system that is called CPU. Uh, three types are multiprocessor, multi threaded processor, then multi core processor. So, single core processor architecture diagram it have only one processor, it performs a single calculation unit or processing units. So the problem is it increases the clock speed and the amount of heat it produced by chip also increases. The multi-core processor uses a two or more cores to process the instruction at the same time by using the hybrid threading. So all in other types are dual core, tri-core, quad core, hexa core, octa, deca. So this is the architecture diagram that represents the multi-core processor which have more than one cores the communication performed between the bus interface so next concept is SAMD systems that is Flyance Taxonomy so it proposed by the Michael Jane Flyon in 1966 so it classifies the systems according to the number of instruction stream and the number of data streams it can simultaneously manage so SAMD stands for a single instruction multiple data. So stream it represents a sequence of items. So data stream it is the sequence of data on which the operations is performed. And instruction stream means the sequence of machine instructions read from the memory. So our instructions is passed from the broadcast from the control unit to ALU and each ALU either applies the instruction to the current data item or it is idle. So for example vector addition at the bottom of Dina and the addition operation is single that is x of i equal to x of i plus y, y of i in gra and the single instructions are the multiple data la operate i in upon output kudukum. So the instruction is same it performs uh, operations on a multiple data item that is the example for uh, single instructions multiple data. So vector processor than a sort of array processor it can operate on an array or vector of data. So vector register it is capable of storing a vector of operands which can range from 4 to 128 64-bit elements. I mean scalar processor individual data element operator the scalar processor of so vectors of data operator than a sort of vector processor of so that is array of data. So vector instruction these are the instructions that operate on the vectors rather than scalars. The interlude memory the memory is divided into a set of banks and which allows the simultaneous access of memory. So stated memory the program accesses elements of a vector located at a fixed interval. So scatter and gather it performs scatter performs the writing to the memory, then gather reading from the memory. So it performs both the writing and reading elements of a vector located at irregular intervals. Next GPU, that is GPU Ngradu real time API. It uses the points, lines and triangles to internally represent the surface of an object. So it uses a graphic processing pipeline to convert the internal representation into an array of pixels that can be sent to a computer screen. So in GPU Patina or processing a single require a very large amount of data. So it needs to maintain a very high rates of data movement. So in order to avoid the stalls and memory losses, it rely heavily on a hardware multi-threading. So next concept is uh, shader functions. So shader functions means it is used to specify the behavior of the programmable stages. So next one is MIMD systems that is multiple instructions, multiple data. So it support uh, multiple simultaneous instruction streams operating on a multiple data stream. 
So, there are two types. There is a shared memory systems and distributed memory systems. So, shared memory system means a collection of autonomous processor that is connected to a memory system by way of an interconnection network and each processor can access each memory location. And the communication is done implicitly by accessing the shared data structures. So, there are two types. There are Yuma and Yuma. So, Yuma is the uniform memory access and Yuma is the non-uniform memory access. So, this architecture diagram of the uniform memory access and the non-uniform memory access. So, Yuma it connects all the processor directly to the mem main memory. And Yuma means it can directly connect each processor to different blocks of main memory. So, here the processor can access each other block of memory through a special hardware built into the processor. Next, distributed memory system. Here each processor is paired with its own private memory and the processor memory paths communicate over an interconnection network. So here the communication is done explicitly by sending messages or by using a special functions. So next concept is interconnection network which plays an important role in the performance of both the distributed and the shared memory systems. So the two concepts shared memory interconnect distributed memory interconnect so shared memory interconnect le rendu concept irukku buses and crossbar distributed la rendu concept irukku direct interconnect indirect interconnect so shared memory interconnect means it widely used to interconnect on the shared memory system so it uh, represents the buses and crossbar types let's see so buses abingana it a collection of a parallel communication wires together with some hardware that controls access to the bus. So here the communication wires are shared by the devices that are connected to it. It provides a low cost and flexibility. In switch to interconnect, it uh, uses the switches to control the routing. Next second one, crossbar. Here the line represents the bidirectional communication links and the square represents the cores or memory modules and the circles are the switches. So here is a diagram, here P1, P2, P3, P4 represents the processor and M2, M4 represents the memory model and the circle represents the switches. Uh, so the second diagram represents the opening and closing of the switch and the third diagram represents the simultaneous memory accesses by the processor. Here the P1 writes to M4 and P2 reads from M3 and P3 reads from M1 and P4 reads to M2. If the size uh, increases means switch to interconnect also increases. Then distributed memory interconnect. Here each switch is directly connected to a processor memory pair and the switches are connected to each other. So in the circles on the represents the switches and the squares of the processor the lines are the bidirectional ring links. So ring allows multiple simultaneous communication and the toroidal mess will be more expensive than the ring. So in toroidal mess if there are P processor means the number of link is 3P. But when compared to ring it is 2P only. So it represents the two bisections of a ring. In first diagram, it represents only two communication takes place between the halls. In second, B1, four simultaneous communication can takes place. And the below diagram represents the bisection of the toroidal mess. Here, uh, fully connected network in which each switch is directly connected to every other switch. And second one is hypercube, which is highly connected direct and connect, interconnect. So there are three types, one dimensional, two dimensional and three dimensional. The switches represents the one dimensional, two dimensional and the three dimensional hybrid cubes. Internet interconnects. The switches may not be directly connected to a processor. That is said to be indirect interconnect. There are two types, crossbar and omega network. So crossbar it has unidirectional links, whereas omega network the switches are two by two crossbars. So here the represents a crossbar interconnect for the distributed memory. It needs the P square switches. 
whereas in Omega network it needs 2p log base 2 p switches. Thank you.